<laughs> Y'all, I am so, so, so very excited. For more than 35 years, music lovers around the world have known our special guest artist. He is a gifted vocalist, songwriter, musician, producer, and arranger. But as his peers and supporters alike have so reverently declared, he is without debate the architect behind the creation of a new evolution of gospel music, urban praise and worship a genre of gospel music that did not exist prior. As a result, this artist has become one of the most respected names in the music industry. In fact, Essence Magazine 2017 names this artist in the esteemed list of the 60 greatest male singers of all time. This artist has been hailed as an inspirational music icon whose music still reaches people from all walks of life. He has served as a producer on more than 100 album projects, racking up numerous awards and nominations, including the Grammy Award, the BET Award, NAACP Image Award, Stellar Award, Dove Award, and the GMWA Excellence Award. We know him for hits such as No Weapon Formed Against Me and Let the Praise Begin and You Are the Living Word and so many more. And tonight we have the privilege of having him right here in Fayetteville, Arkansas to stir our hearts. So all over this building, stand up to your feet and we're going to give a nice warm Northwest Arkansas welcome to the iconic Fred Hammond!
with some hand clapping, foot stomping church in here. Put your hand. Where's the radical section? Make some noise. said it like this, I was glad, I was glad, say it again, where we going?
1900s. Go ahead, hit me with that feel. Ah, here we are. Let's get it on one call. Leave all your problems on the outside. Say to be consumed with the whole.
Y'all gonna take a seat. It's gonna take a seat. Uh, sound, PA, uh, do me a favor. Left side of the monitors went out. Uh, still sound pretty good. Give a hand for the engineer staff. Yeah, because the light is off and the sound is gone on it. So until we get it, do me a favor, crank me up just a little bit more here so I have a voice by no weapon. By the time I get to that song, there you go. Anthony, everybody. And the other guy. Bro, come over here. I want to give you your just due because you did that. Y'all did that. What's your name, sir? Reggie. Reggie. I am so glad to be here. And the name of this, this event is Music Works, correct? Music Moves. Well, it's, it's, it's working if it's moving. You find that at this age that I am, in December of 22, if the Lord let me see it, I'll be 62. Amen. You find that at this age, I already know how not to be wrong and find a way to make it right. You see, I just came out that if it's moving, it's working. But one thing I've learned is that if you, if you, if you like say something wrong, do it strong. And you might fool a couple of folks like, yeah, he know what he's talking about. He, he know what he's talking about. Oh, he don't. Okay, that's all right. Bless him. No, I'm good. I'm glad to be here. The music moves. And you know, this kind of music moves because God is in it. Because it's burden destroying, yoke breaking. It's anointed. And I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. Oh no, that's the phone. A minute there, you know, because even I had six eye surgeries, so it all meant the presence of, presence of the Lord is here. Presence of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. That lot of smoke alarm went off. I thought the Lord was moving. Say, man, the Lord is out there doing his thing. Listen, I hope you all have an amazing time tonight. I just came to hang out with you. I'm a different dude. My approach to inspiring people with the word of God and life is just different. You know, I, I, I feel like that the world has so many amazing preachers and people who can expound on the gospel and, and exegete at the text in, in such a way that brings out the Greek and the Hebrew that, and the Greek words. See, I can, I can talk like that, but I learned how to be me. And 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 I'm gonna up change, I'm gonna I'm gonna update my bio because they said 35 years. No, no, it's 41 years. I want all my years. It's not y'all's fault. It came from, it came from my, my place. And maybe it's online, but I want all my I earned all all this. How many of y'all been with me since the commissioned album? Okay, I'm talking about the pink album cover where we look like new edition. There's a city in the distance. I can see it all so clear. The light is shining brightly. The glow it draws me near. Oh, more beauty in each mile. All the people wear a smile. It's the city of the master, and to know you must be changed. See, that lost y'all, so I'm loving it. 
But yeah, I, I, I was, that's when I started back in 1983, and that record came out in 1985. Now it's almost 2025, and still doing it. The key is, when I was younger, and my mother got mad at God. My mother got mad at God because her husband died, Ray Hammond. He died at 32 years old of colon cancer. And so she went on strike from God. Because the lady down the street, they cussed each other out and they fighting and they always getting drunk. They still alive. Her husband's still good. Lady next door, they all, everybody's acting crazy, but my mother, you know, loved God and her husband gone, so she was mad at God. And see, some of y'all ain't gonna admit, some of y'all are mad at God tonight. And let me tell y'all something. God ain't tripping that you mad at him. He's heard worse things. He would rather you be mad at him than not have any feelings about him. Then one day she said, I'm we're going back to church about three years after that. She said, we're going back to church. And she took us back. And so I went to Sunday school. I didn't know nothing about too much about Sunday school. And they preached this. They, they, they talked about Solomon. And for some reason, it, it jolted me, moved me forward. And I said, they said, Solomon, God asked Solomon, what shall I do for you? What do you want? And at 11 years old, I said, he shouldn't ask for money. I don't know where I got that from. The Spirit of the Lord was an 11 year old. I said, he shouldn't ask for money. And we know the story. He says, give me wisdom and knowledge of how to govern your people. And God was impressed and glad you said that. So I will give you wisdom and knowledge. I'm going to give you some money too. You'll be one of the richest ever. And I bowed my head at 11 years old and said, I don't really know you that good, but I want that wisdom. And it taught me how to be effective. So when you, 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 you artists out here today, people that are just not artists, but, but, but anybody, entrepreneurs, anybody, if I don't leave you with nothing else tonight, we're going to sing a lot. Can you sing again? But the Lord stopped me to tell you this. One of the reasons why you're amazingly talented and you got everything that everything going and you, you have Instagram down pack and you're getting likes and stuff, but it don't seem like you're moving forward. Ask God, pray tonight, Lord, give me wisdom and knowledge so that I can be effective. And I learned how to be effective. So now here, 40 something years later, people are still calling and they're still coming. You guys still come to the concert. And, and in my Instagram, I understand how to use comedy to make it happen, to be effective to a generation and a culture. God is looking for somebody out there to be effective and not just talented. Because please believe, I know this. There are so many people that can wake up and out sing me. But they're not effective. In your business, if you have a hair salon, if you have a, if you have a, a internet company, what you want to be is effective. So that's the word for the night, okay? Effective. Look at me and say, effective. Lord, help me to be effective. Now somebody give him a hand praise right there. All right, put me in E flat. I'm gonna show you what I mean by being effective. I'm going to do something old. I'm going to stay in the 1900s. I'm going to stay in the 1900s. We just, this is where we're going to live. Today. And what I want to do is, I want to, I, want to, I want to show you how old school can be effective. Can I do that? This is for my seasoned saints out there. All the seasoned saints make some noise. Now, Season simply means 50s and 60s. Now, I'm going to say it again. All the season saints make some noise. That's what that is. And, and, and so, 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 young folk, just kind of go with us on this one. You, you, you'll see what I'm saying. Jesus, be a fish, yeah.
protection. A protection. Sisters in the building, take your seat. All the brothers, I want to see you on your feet. All the brothers, make some noise up in there. Woo, we got some brothers up in this place. Okay, do me a favor. I might need you to turn the lights up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just, just turn them up just a little bit. Because I need, I need all the brothers to meet me down here on the front. Be careful, that's why I want the light so you don't trip over no cameras, you know, stuff, you know. Look at these brothers coming with swag. We about to be the Fayetteville, Arkansas male mass choir. And this ain't your granddaddy's mass choir, male chorus. You know, where they were struggling to keep on beat. Keep on walking by faith. This ain't that. These brothers got some G. Go ahead on down. Y'all come on down. All the brothers down here make some noise. One. So, um, brothers, this is why I called y'all down. And it's just me and y'all, okay? Just me and y'all. I'm talking to all of y'all. Okay. I have to get you all in a central location because when the ladies generally do their part, it sounds like a hurricane. So I need us to sound like a tsunami. Or whatever makes a whole lot of noise. Now, the part I'm going to give you, I don't care what sound comes out of your mouth. I don't care what key comes out of your mouth. We're in E flat, and if you're singing in A, it don't matter. Just sing it. Open your mouth up and sing it. Watch what the Lord do to it. He's somewhere between here and there. He'll change that thing, and it sounds raggedy down here, but it's right about there. It'll start sounding great because we're giving it to him. Okay, brothers and sisters, right? It's a simple part, right? Simple part. Right? Let's declare this. He reigns for. tsunami. That was a tsunami, a hurricane and an earthquake. Sisters, I hope you heard that. That's going to be hard to beat because these brothers are singing that. Come on, brothers, let's sing it again. Two, he right. Say it, he. Hold it. I need y'all to do something. I need y'all to go ahead and turn around and sing it to them just in case they didn't hurt you. Just in case they didn't hurt you good. Now, brothers, I want you to sing it louder than that. One, two, three, say he. Over your family. Over your job. Over your health. Over your brokenness. Over despair. Over cancer. Say it again, brothers. Ladies, give the brothers a hand. Brothers, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Just, we ain't done. As a matter of fact, y'all can keep looking because it's the ladies' turn. They, they might need to use your encouragement. Altos, get on your feet. I'm going to tell you, ladies, that's going to be hard to beat. But you can do it if you really sing loud. That, but that's going to be hard to beat, I'm going to tell you now. Them brothers let that thing up. Y'all did that. Y'all did that. Okay, altos, I need to hear you. He ain't say, he, he ain't fuck. Come on, altos, say it. Y'all sound pretty good, say it. Woo, say it. Say, 
Brothers, y'all hear that? Say it. Say it. Say it. Brothers, give the altos a hand. Altos, take your seats. Sopranos, on your feet. Sopranos on your feet. Some of you altos with sopranos, but you're just lazy. As a matter of fact, I needed some of the altos to stand up because the sopranos look a little light tonight. I need a little help with that soprano department. Uh -huh. All right, soprano. He said. Y'all better go ahead and say it. Brothers, they ain't lacking. They pulling it through. Break the music, say. Say it. Say it. Say it, altos on your feet. Join the sopranos, say. Say it. Say it. All right, brothers, y'all ready? Y'all ready to bring up, bring up the rear? Everybody, brothers, let me hear you say. So do me a favor, turn around and go on and take that bow. Say, yeah, we did that. Yeah, we did that. Go on back to you see, yeah, we did that. Sisters, y'all did amazing. I ain't going to even front. I'm not going to even front. But let me show you what I mean by effective. When you boost a man's confidence, he just does better. When you compliment a man, he just does better. The world has already got enough to take all men down anyway. You just must enough stress. So whenever they can get some encouragement, you'd be surprised how that's going to help them the rest of this week. As they sat there and as they stood there and declared the word of the Lord, when life gets rough this week, they will remember he reigns Somebody's going through a real tough time in here tonight in your relationship. Don't wave your hand and don't look, just look straight up here at me. Ain't nobody else's business, but you, when you go home, it's, it's rough. But next time it gets rough and it feels like you said we just arguing. You know, just, uh, just remember, he he reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. Now don't pay attention. 
that it just came from that side. Don't they don't look nobody over there in their relationship. Their relationship is fine. Don't be nosy. Somebody might be having a, a test, a medical test this week that you're worried about. Just just remember, we say this for you. He reigns for Somebody might be having some money issues, <laughs> some cash flow situation, and it seems like things are going haywire. Just remember this over your money, over your kids, everything. What? He reigns. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. If 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 we sing that song now, the concert's over. So <laughs> you want to sit down? I got I got a couple more. <laughs> I got a couple more. I got to do. Amen. Amen. Listen. I guess that's E. Put me E. We went on tour this year with two of my best friends, Israel Holden and Hezekiah Walker. And hopefully when, hopefully when we do it again, we'll come through. Because the way God led me to do these tours, it's called the Festival of Praise, is we're all on stage together. And we sing each other's songs. And we back each other up. And we sing and we enjoy each other's songs because we just decided that that's the best way to do it. Family style. And I'll sing something and then Israel will sing something and Hezekiah will sing something and I'll sing something. And Israel will lead some of my songs, I'll lead some of his guys. And we just had an amazing time. But one song I loved, a couple songs I loved that, that, that really blessed me that when Israel would sing this, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He called me friend. So, 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 this don't hit everybody the same. It, it hits me different because it didn't say, I've been the best friend to God. It says, I am a friend of God. Basically, he's a friend of mine. My heart is overwhelmed that he would call me friend. Because it seemed like friends should reciprocate you good to me all the time. And you are good. But I'm, I'm good to you a nice amount of the time. Like sometimes. And then my human issues kick in and and I'm not a good representation for you. You still say me, but you're still my friend. Though. And I'm so glad he don't throw me away in my weakness. Anybody out there glad that he don't throw you away in your weakness? Anybody out there glad that know that the Lord should have cut you off a long time ago? During the pandemic, why are you still here? Friends of yours gone on, family members gone on, but why are you still here? Because he gave us a chance to get it right. He gave us a chance to get it right. And that's your friend. So that's why I love. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He could be friend. Can you say he I am? If you're a friend, say
all said and done, all I want to just to be close to you, just to be close to you. cell phones out. They're already out, but just turn your light on. Turn your light on. If you see somebody having trouble turning, figuring out where the light <laughs> just say, it's that one right there. It's probably an Android user, I don't know. I told you, I'm 61. I don't care that you don't like that. <laughs> but wave them for me. Do me a favor. I want to see it. As you wave them, your lights are prophesying and testifying on your behalf. It simply means, I see you up in the balcony. I do see you. I see you. It simply means that the devil is defeated. Because he tried to turn your light out. He tried to take you out over the last two years, three years, two days. He wanted to put you in a position where you couldn't charge your light again, but yet it's still on. And even if your phone is dead, a light. So just join into that person and say, I'm with your light. I'm not, your light is my light. The enemy tried to take your light out, but the word of God is in that light. 
And what it's simply saying is that my God will do what he said he would. He will stand my for allowing me to come. Come on, take your seat. Can I be totally 100% transparent? Like, honest and transparent. I want to be honest. I don't. I'm 60. And when they send me like stuff to say, where you going? I 
I don't look at all the information. Some of y'all already know where I'm headed. I'm transparent. And I saw Fayetteville. <laughs> I, I, I saw Fayetteville. <laughs> I'm on Instagram at the airport. Yeah, headed to Fayetteville. Fayetteville, I'm on the way. So we landed in Fayetteville. I'm on Instagram. Landed in Fayetteville. And we got in the car. And the driver said, is this your first time to Arkansas? And I said, hey, quit playing with me. <laughs> no, but why are you asking? <laughs> it registered to me. That, that airplane trip was pretty quick. <laughs> and I said, what is he talking about? This is not. He said, no, this is Arkansas. Oh, oh, my B. I'm 61. Millennials, that's what you can look forward to. You can look forward to that. And let me give you the, the difference, and then I'm going to let you go. The difference in 61 and 41, 31 is when you go to a spot like this or you're hanging out with your friends, you go in looking to get it popping and Man, we're going to have church tonight, or we're going to have fun tonight. We have the family reunion. But, but when you get here, you look for two things. A restroom. Okay, there's one right there. There's one right there. Okay, we good, we good. And how many steps is it? Oh, you can laugh if you want to. You're on your way. <laughs> but that's just what it is, and I'm glad to be able to be that because it just means the Lord has let me... Go grow on it gracefully. Amen. So, listen, thank you all for inviting me. Listen, this week on my Facebook page, Fred Hammond Facebook, uh, I'm on Instagram, real Fred H on Instagram. I don't do much TikTok. Because, you know, I do this all right. Because it's too much talking. Not enough ticking. I do a little bit every now and then. But you can follow me on that this week. I'm putting out a little special, a little docu, I call it a docu short. And it's about the day that Commission met Marvin Sapp. Y'all don't know that he, uh, our very first concert ever before we had a record out, a record deal, we went to a church, and at 16 years old, he was the opening act. So tune into my page, it'll, it'll start going up on my live. Y'all can just watch, it's free. I think you'll like it, okay? But follow me, basically, what I'm trying to say. And if you go to a page and it says Fred Hammond, and it has like 800 followers, that's not me. If you get a text or DM saying, I really love you as a fan, don't text me and ask me or inbox me, is this you? And you see they have, you know, 900 followers. I'll never ask you for money. Hey, listen, can you send me anything? Nine times out of ten, it's not that. It ain't me. On my page, it's 2.3 million followers. Facebook, 700 plus thousand on Instagram. That's me. So just come on and hang out. Y'all Y'all having a, have a good time tonight? What you want to hear, because I got to go. Uh-huh. I'm not rushing because the Cowboys is playing. I'm taking my time, but I, I'm, 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 I'm concerned. <laughs> because we know that the NFL, this, the starting of the NFL week is really, this song should apply to this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Just to me though, I, just, I could be wrong, it's just to me. What y'all wanna hear now, I'm telling you.
Why don't we do this? Put me an A flat. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart, I will dance like David. Let me hear you say, let's 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 say,